Ambassador of Council Bluffs, Angelo Douglas and Warren Copeland, both of Omaha, are in jail. Right now, they face several charges. It all started in Fremont, inside the First State Bank and Trust. I've never been in a bank robbery, but I've been in some scrapes. The only customer to witness the holdup. He talked exclusively with KETV News Watch 7's Camilla Ortiz. Yeah, she's live with what he saw. Camilla. David, Melissa, Fremont detectives told me the suspects huddled everybody into a back room while they stuffed money into bags. But that customer you heard from, Norman Turner, said he's been through worse and he wasn't scared. When the crooks showed up at the First State Bank in Fremont Wednesday morning, just three employees and one customer were inside. Storm and Norman, that's, that's the name I had in the Navy. Fremont resident Norman Turner in the bank's entryway when one of the suspects grabbed him. Spun me around and pushed me back inside. Taking him and the employees to a back room. There was money laying everywhere. Turner says all three suspects showing their guns as they gathered up piles of money. Everybody held it up like this. Turner knew he couldn't stop them. What am I going to do? But maybe he could slow them down. He was trying to push it over to get it in a pile. And I kind of nonchalant took a step toward him and stepped on it and moved it away. <laughs> he, didn't, the robbers? he didn't like that. Yeah. Fremont police say the men got into this stolen van from Omaha, which they ditched about two blocks from the bank before getting into a silver Nissan. I noticed it kind of moving kind of fast eastbound on military. Fremont Administrative Lieutenant Glenn Still on his way to Omaha when he spotted the car that officers were radioing about. I just started to put two and two together and followed them and then it ended up being, I ended up being right. The pursuit was on. Lieutenant still telling me the suspects wouldn't stop for police. They eventually ditched the car near 174th and Old Lincoln Highway, close to Village Point. All right, Camilla, thank you.